All right. Discord critiques. Yeah, Splinter, Splinter, that's definitely Dragon Ball Z stuff. Okay. Got my, got my Fanta. Oh man, it's just basically canned sugar. Dude, look at that logo. For the Americans out there. It's a little weird, right? If I remember correctly, that's uh that's a UK Fanta. I think. I could be wrong. Just as sugary. Uh Def Troy and Nandim, thanks for the follow, guys. I, I, Splinter, I can hear it in my head. Don't do that. So this shotgun turned out pretty dope. Pretty dope. It looks, in this screen, it looks a little low res. Why is that? You see the stepping here? And the masking out of the uh, the smoke looks a little strange. Ginger ale's dope, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would look into the the saturation of the wood and then uh, the masking of the smoke and then the resolution of the image, unless I'm, like, super zoomed in. No, see, it looks... Something res-wise is weird. Uh, overall, though, cool gun. Nice presentation. The wires, I would actually suggest, um, if I go here... Where are we at? Man, this is some older music I haven't listened to in a while. <laughs> All right. So for this image, there's not actually a, a whole lot that you need to show wireframe wise. So and this is gonna look pretty rough because resolution. Uh, but give me a second here. You actually don't need this bottom one here. Unless you want to show them how low poly the, the, the butt is. That that should totally be bevel that jazz. Bevel that jazz. I'll do this. I'll do this. We'll merge those together and make a mask, invert the mask. Something like this might work. I say might because I'm not, I'm not fully sure. Something like that could be interesting. I don't know. I'm just being picky now. Yeah, I forget which uh, which show this is for, this song. Anyways, I would look at your materials closer to see, like, how you can get more read out of this, this wood material. Uh, and then um, look at your saturation values. Man, the barrels are so, like, straight. But, I mean, I guess they're supposed to be, right? Not a gun person. Luther uses this song? So, Lino, dude... Dude, Lino, this is pretty cool. What are we at here? You, uh, you were told that professional work is fine to be shared. Spaceship, Epic Spaceship 2013 for the span of two months.
Oh man, I remember Rebirth. Good stuff, dude. This, these details. I don't have too much to say on it. I mean, the design's really cool. Good game. Let's just do this. Oh, House MD, good stuff. Entertaining and a weird show. Oh, I really like this shot. That's super cool. I mean, I don't have much to say on this. I'm terrible at spaceships, so. I guess, is this supposed to be damage here? Oh, yeah. So like, uh, where are we at? This stuff here feels strange to me, I guess. It's here too. A little bit up there as well. That must be damage. <laughs> Stocking paid off, that's awesome. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Where is the Discord? Three hundred thousand tries. Fifteen Atlas textures were used. Dang, crazy. Modeling and texturing in Blender. Set up for in-game usage done in 3ds Max. Beauty shots done in Blender. Nice. Ayo, hey what's up, Virus? How you doing? All right, Alex. Alex is new. Uh, he wants some critique, some feedback. Oh, man, you want portfolio feedback. All right, well, you have to sign up for the portfolio feedback, but I will pick something out of here. I'll pick this one. So this looks pretty cool. I like this one. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure where these these gradients are coming from. Is it like really strong AO in the uh, like a ZBrush render? Uh, so be careful with those. Uh, the details are relatively good. There's some finer details that I'm expecting maybe the depth to be a little stronger. Uh, and then I think. Copy this image and put it in here and just talk really quickly about your side profile. So this guy, it's doing this and then it goes, whoops, hang on. So it's doing this and then down like that and then it cuts in really far out further and then down and then way back in again and then down. So and that's, that's this chunk, if that makes sense like this. Um, these gaps here feel really strange to me. Like it feels like they're, they're pancaking in a strange way. Like the weight doesn't really make sense. This side also seems to come out further than these. So like this side is actually further out than these, which is really kind of, that's, uh, it's weird to me just because architecturally all the big stuff tends to happen further down. So like, for example, this stuff here is like the heavier weighted stuff and see how this, it slowly comes out and it gets wider and wider. Skulls look pretty cool in the middle. These look cool. I feel like something should be coming out of them, like chains or so, I don't know, something. Maybe like a 
something you pull on. Uh, other than that, I think it's it's pretty cool. This is this looks like this is supposed to be like a like a symbol or like a ad or advertisement if you want to think about it like that. So I'd almost expect I'd almost expect it to be larger, and then the shape to actually come outside of the uh, do this like this, and then to come out. but actually break the silhouette of, of its frame. I don't know. That's just me though. In general, this looks cool. It's weird that it dips down right here. There's a strange dip right here. And then, yeah, watch out for this AO stuff. It looks really strange. Careful with the uh, high detail noise as well, because you can do that in uh, detail normals and, and the like. Uh, I would save ZBrush for sculpting more of the these types of guys, uh, this stuff. Just because all this, you're going to get that for free anyways with a detail normal. This type of detail is really good. This one as well. But yeah, I'd be careful to add uh, high frequency detail. The other thing too is like this this stuff here. You could take this stuff and actually just not map those to anything in the in the high poly, and then just take that quad and this quad. You could even do it with these back pieces here, just because there's nothing uh, particular about them that needs them to be unique. Um, you could map those to like a tileable that you just have around. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, would you apply a detail normal to the entire piece? I would not apply a detail normal to the entire piece. Uh, so if this all ended up being one mesh, uh, you're gonna want to use a mask and mask out where your detail normals are at and where they're not. Like for example, the skulls probably shouldn't have a detail normal. And if they do, they should have maybe a different detail normal. Anything that's metal, don't put a detail normal on it. Unless it's like a different detail normal for metal, right? It depends. Like, you'll have a range of detail normals, which is probably a better approach. Uh, but go ahead and um, if you see this video or the VOD or if you're seeing this, um, I don't know if you're actually in chat, Alex, but um, you may have been talking to me and I don't know it. Are you Nando? Who knows? Who knows? Um in the Discord uh, art-related pins, there is a this one, Portfolio Review link. I'm actually almost out of Portfolio Reviews, so you wouldn't have to wait too long. All right. Let's uh, back to Stream Critiques. Going down. Okay, Terminal. Terminal by Blue. This honestly looks freaking awesome, man. So you added a little bit of detail down here to help solve like how it's connected. That edge could probably be a little sharper so it doesn't look like it's melted together. <laughs> mods, help. Help, mods. Love what you did with the screen. Pretty cool. The The rust looks uh, like you've actually, so the rust has some interesting attributes. Down here, it's really soft and kind of like uh, sprayed on almost. And then up here, it's very like chipped paint particular. I think a combination of what you have here and this is probably where you want to be. The bottom part seems a little random and the top part seems a little sharp. A combination of a little random and a little sharp is probably where you want to be, which probably doesn't help you all that much. I'm sorry. Um, I wonder if I can do a quick. So if I took this. I 
I'm basically trying to get a texture out of your image. That's not working at all. Hmm. I think you get a little bit of what I'm talking about. But like a combination of both of them is where you want to be. Probably want to get rid of that one. Keyboard looks pretty good, maybe a little sterile. And the keys, I would probably exaggerate them as well as like, uh, let's see here. Can he do it? Can he do it? Let's paste that here. Holy image scalage. So right now your keys are very uh, straight up. Um, they've never done a crime. They're so straight. Uh, so side view, they're like this. Maybe bowing them out a bit just so that they have a little bit of a, if you look at it from the top down, you'd be able to see a little bit of the side. That'll work wonders for your keyboard. Wonders. Uh, if you need to do that quickly, you can just select all the top faces and then scale them locally. It might not work for all of them, but you could try it, scale it locally and just scale it and just by a little bit. And then you should get the side view of the keys. Um, oh. In general, though, this <laughs> kill the boss. It's pretty cool. Oh, interesting pattern on the back. So the pattern on the back actually um, probably needs to be dinged up a little bit and then maybe a little bit deeper just so that it kind of follows the same kind of uh, depth as all the other details. These could also probably add a little geometry to pull them out. They feel flat right now. Overall, pretty cool. Uh, the metal here is kind of suffering that same problem where it looks, it looks like it's been misted and kind of brushed. Hmm. I actually think the base and the thing around the keyboard and the thing around the monitor are the same material. Just as a FYI. And it looks like that's kind of what you've done. Yeah, metals metal can be weird. Just make sure your albedo is black. Well, that's not true. Make sure your metalness is black. All right, next up is Bivaz. I'd like to get some feedback on the scene. It's still busy with the foliage. I'm gonna add some ivy near the cave holes as well as some flowers to give the scene a bit more color. Besides that, I think the scene is nearly done. Would like to know if there's something that I should add or if you think the lighting is still bad or too dark. 
This so this scene is impressive, guys. I uh, this this scene impresses me quite a bit. That dude, this angle, that's terrifying. And I think you gave a you gave a gif as well. It's small, but mmm, do those light rays and stuff. This is pretty sick. This is some uh I'll be honest, man, this is some like some Tomb Raider quality stuff. Starving Buddha. So the lighting is still a little bit dark, but it has definitely gotten brighter. Um, let's let's see. Yeah, because you see the range here. One thing to know, though, is you're probably not peeking at, uh, in the values as much as you were before. So I've added a green layer in the back for anyone that's curious about this. And I've double-clicked the top layer, and I'm going to clip out the lowest range and then just kind of creep up. So what's really good about this is where it's happening is around the outside edge. That's like actually really good. Uh, it is still occurring, but there's, there's enough information in there that I can go into the histogram and uh, brighten it up. You know what I mean? So I could, I could uh, dupe this brighten it up so I can see them. And then I will mask this. And then we will just softly bring in the areas that are dark. Like, dude, look at that. Hang on, I'm trying to get a good, look how much is showing. Oh man, this is cool. And then we'll lower the, uh, so this is before, right? You still want some interest in those areas, but not too much. It's very close. And it's still, it's not taking away from the composition. It did bring this light in a bit more. I don't know if you noticed that, like right there. So if I were to, let's see here. I mean, this is, dude, this is like a screenshot from a freaking game, man. This looks really good. Uh, the I guess the things I would watch out for are things like, um, yeah, look at the, actually, so you can see the difference. This might also be too much of the blowout. I might not need to do that. Um, but like, you're running into a problem down here. See this stuff? It's real. It becomes really noisy. I see it in some of the other screens. Where is it at here? This one. I think it's the wetness that you're that you're simulating. Maybe not going that wet. Uh, just. Hmm. I'm not even sure what that is. Is that like, like I want to say that's little highlight speckly effects happening on the reflectiveness of the materials. Yeah, be careful with the, the, the sharpness. These edges too are really tight. You could probably, you could keep them that tight or widen them a little bit and then lower the brightness of it just a, just a little bit. Cause it's good that you have a little bit of the tooth there. 
Because, like, up here, it looks pretty nice. But, yeah, like, if I go here. Dang, dude, this, this scene's... I'm showing people at work this uh, tomorrow, if you don't mind. So, like, if I push, I know it's kind of looks funny, but just pushing that area back, it can still look wet, but not like, boom, in your face, you know? Uh, I would also be careful about how green these are. I bet if you check your albedos, that's, uh, that's probably really, really saturated. And I would look into uh, how these spread around. Let's see here. Because I'd expect it to be more. I'd expect it to be scattered a bit more. Just a bit more leaves. Yeah, this looks really good though, man. Very, very well done. I think you're you're basically done with it. There's just those small little tweaks I'm talking about. All right. Zal's, uh, no, not Zal's, who's this? Fiblo, uh, creating a mini sci-fi control center. So Philistine is lacking something. Oh no, what are you drinking? Don't do it. I hate the arrow keys in Image Gear. <laughs> what happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. <laughs> uh, Image Gear. Why you gotta arrow me? Why you gotta arrow me, bro? I, I try and press the right arrow, go to the next one. Um. System failure. Warning. Warning. System failure. This is a station-wide emergency. Move to air shuttles and evacuate immediately. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's uh, let's talk about how some of the stuff is connecting. Oh, actually, where why why am I in here? What is what's happening? You're probably gonna want this in here because I'm gonna share this with all of you guys. Okay. Um, let me check the yeah yep yeah, cool. So this edge here, uh, where it meets the ground. Right now, these lines just kind of go into the edge of this. So it feels like that's placed, you know? Um, if you could, like, you got this edge, this edge, and then it comes down and goes to this, and then goes down again, and it's just one more lip. If you could uh, add one more layer that's just like a cap connected to the ground, and then maybe design a pattern that goes, like, off, off to the side that like maybe has like uh, lights on it or something like it, it you need like hey this is the table we're supposed to go to it and it tells us all we need to know um, getting some information into your uh, roughness for everything like I'd be curious to see uh, I'd be curious to see what your roughness only view looks like uh, these lights on the ceiling, like take those, put those down here. And then these ones I would actually uh, make larger. So they're like high alert status. Um, 
the color of the scene is not really telling you that there's a that there's a problem. Like maybe these lights. I would actually like to see this animated because these lights uh, should be like half brightness and all of the uh, emergency exit lights should be on. Uh, some other things that are getting my attention. Dude, this is cool. I like that. Whatever that is. Some signage. Some product placement of the corporation. Uh, the logo here looks cool. Uh, maybe the logo could have a different roughness value versus the wall so that you get some material separation. The material here feels out of place. It doesn't feel like a uh, sci-fi. And the way the light is hitting it, it makes me think that the roughness looks is, is wrong or something is wrong. Like maybe the normal is flipped as well. I'm not sure. Um, the paper spilled out over here. I would love to see some other some other props. Like this is good. You've got some cables here. It's weird that they go down and then back up. And I would just have this go this way and go out, and then just continue into the cables. Like maybe one that runs this way and then goes down. Um, you get maybe one of the panels on the ground could be lifted, and there's some. This cable could like run this way and then drop into the hole or into the into the gap of the panels. Julian, that's hilarious. Dude, that fanta's good, man. You gotta be in the mood for it, because it's hella sugar, but you know. Um let's see what else we got here. The screens are really interesting. So they're they're all very evenly placed, right? Which is which is fine. It's a command deck, right? It's very important to be informed about everything going on. Um uh, But there should be a main screen. Obviously, you've got this up here. That's a main screen. And this guy. We'll talk about the, the hologram table in a second. But I feel like maybe there should be one large screen here. With, like, clocks above it or something. And then what's the, what's the station-wide emergency? I would love for this screen to show, like, maybe if this is on, like, a planet. I see the stars. Uh... Maybe um, showing a meteor, like, on its way to your little home. Something like that, right? And uh, as far as this table goes, if you could get, like, these details projecting upwards, so it's like a hologram... Like maybe like a planet and some stuff orbiting around it. Just stuff floating on the table would be cool. What's up, Lorg? How you doing? Um, yeah, and then evacuation lights, of course. Maybe this, this base here could have like a ring of this red light that you're talking about. And that ring doesn't go all the way around. Let me just draw here. So it goes like this maybe and then out. Yeah, I think that would be, I think that would be good. Uh, the ceiling is also very, very blank. I think any type of uh, detail up here would be good. So you've got this, and you've got it here again. I can't. I think you only have it twice. If you could get something, even if it's coming off of this and coming out a little bit, just extended support onto the wall. There's some paneling here against the wall if that maybe like had some depth to it that way you get some shadows from like some eye beams or something that could be good and then uh random like decals of paneling like oh yeah you just pop this open this is where all the little spark plugs are this is where this is and this is this just because right now your walls and your ceilings are very very blank anything you can do up there will help Maybe some type of a uh, vent, like uh, look at alien isolation. Look at their ceilings and see see how they like broke up their their surfaces. Obviously, their walls are really really busy, but um, yeah. And then I think this piece here, man, I went all out on this image. Uh, this piece here could probably come further back, and then maybe maybe be higher res, so you're not getting these like weird normal 
uh, discrepancies. And then, uh, yeah, like these props too could maybe be pushed back a little bit further here just because right now the edge of the table is here and it meets really close to that prop. So it's a little bit like of a, in composition terms, it's like a tangent. It's like where two edges are, are meeting, like this bottom edge of this table and then this edge of the table like terminate into each other, which is kind of like triggering me a little bit. Taking that table and just moving it to the side as well could be helpful. Uh, there's no one here as well, so it could have been full panic. Uh, and if it's full panic, I expect more than just these papers on the ground. I shit everywhere, just people running. Coffee cup on the ground, shit spilled out. You're like, oh, God, fuck the coffee. We got to live. That type of stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just spewed <laughs> a bunch of stuff on this image. So hopefully that's enough feedback for you. Oh, oh, I didn't see this image. Unlit, lighting only, detail light. I want to see uh, if you can do this and get a roughness and uh, get a different song. Uh, if I could see the roughness pass on this, that would be nice. Matthias, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the follow. All right, let's blast through these. This is uh, looking pretty, pretty grungy. Uh, the amount of props is good. There's some storytelling with the way the props have fallen and stuff. That's good. Maybe pushing these windows back a bit more so that you get some more depth on it. Uh, a light maybe on the side here to try and cast some shadows from the, from the wire. Let's see here. I'm just reacting to stuff I'm seeing. Um, the edge here, while uneven, that's good. It's good that it's uneven. It needs uh, it needs little things in it: rocks, paper, trash, just stuff. Um, the mattress feels a little too flat. It's good that it's like bent against the wall. Uh, it also feels like you're missing uh, normal maps on your wall. And I think the main reason I feel that is the only main light source I'm seeing is this light. There's obviously something else. Like I'm seeing a light here. But I'm not getting a strong directional light. This actually feels like it's floating off of the wall because there's no shadow like affecting the side here. But yeah, I... Hmm. Look at your normal map pass and your, man, I need to see. We need a message button here. We need a, a message button. It's not public. Aha. Aha. Is this U4D? Overall, the props are looking pretty good, though. Uh, just some, some material material stuff. You like that virus? <laughs> some material definition to pop the materials out of it. This looks cool. I think I was looking at this the other day. Um, Stylistically, this looks pretty awesome. Oh, thanks, Curious. This looks really cool. I like the uh, scrape patterns in there. I mean, overall, these are pretty solid. I don't really have much to say. Oh, man, I love this one. So I really like this one mainly because of the colors. The color choice in there is really interesting. Uh, there's nice height variation as well. Like if you look here, there's nice height variation in the tiles. So they're just kind of like offset from each other and whatnot. Box, what's up, man? Looking good. Do you know what's looking good is this mic stand. So sexy. TWL, he's the guy who got me the mic stand for my birthday. 
So this is the future of substance previews. Ricky, how you doing, buddy? It's okay to be late sometimes. Just not to work. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, this, I expect to see a whole lot more of these, and not a lot of people are doing it right now. Do like, if it happens slower, you get to see everything. You get to see the the roughness variation. You get to see how the colors behave. You get to see the height differences because the shadows are casting. I just say rotate it a little bit slower and you're going to be golden. That's super cool. This looks super nice. Yeah, solid stuff. Uh, there's some cracks that are carrying over into other tiles. But that's, uh, I think you're, I think you know that you just need some offset action. Couldn't do slower due to file size. Ah. Dang. I mean, it doesn't have to do a full cycle. Just seeing the shadow pan once would be nice. Like half of the video, but, but the same... So the amount of lighting that happened in half of the video, but twice as long. That should be doable, I think. Anyways, this is solid. Looks good. Litter stops here, guys. Don't do it. Don't litter. So this looks pretty good. The, uh, the sticker on here, I remember I saw a version of it where it like kind of broke down. Like it was like torn apart and stuff. If you want to do that, I would actually suggest possibly like floating this on there and then modeling it kind of peeling away and then use threshold cutout to actually chip it up. First time watching the stream live, dude. Was it Beddoes? 94. What's up, man? Evening. Evening, y'all. Uh, material wise looking pretty good up here. That's, that's nice. I like that. It's nice. Some, some nice wear, some nice tear, some nice damage. Uh, the bottom is pretty pretty interesting. I like the little lip down here. Maybe if this was lifted a little bit more, just to show it a bit. First time someone pronounced the name right. First time. Uh, well, you're a lucky you're a lucky one compared to the other people I've said there. Uh, dude, the other stream I I said Chihuahua, but I said Chihuahua. <laughs> Or whatever I said, it was I was like, oh, what, what is this? What is this text you, you show me? Oh, dude, this looks great. So where this one is breaking down, blah, blah, blah. All right. So where this one is breaking down is the super chihuahua. Yeah, dude, what's up? How you doing? Oh, so embarrassing. It's okay. It's okay. We all make mistakes. I remember when I saw Puke for the first time. Dad, what is Puck? He just looked at me. And he started laughing. And I'm like, Dad, you're driving. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> it's okay. I was like really young. I was like, uh, I was really young, like 18. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, no, I wasn't 18. But so I was going to say these actually look really low res. So just like double or triple that resolution. I mean, the resolution on this can is higher, right? So just get, get the, the res up there was yesterday. Don't lie. <laughs> Dude, if my dad was here, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> he's, he's very far away. He's like on the other side of the world almost. Um, the garbage bags look, look really cool. And I actually really like, I mean, I said this last time, but I love that uh, the shape of the garbage bags is being deformed by what looks like objects inside. I know there's nothing in there, right? But you simulated objects inside of the, of the garbage bags. That's freaking cool. This, this spot right here. Mmm, delicious, delicious. We're going to nom, 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 nom. I like it. This feels really nice. There's little like dings and stuff here too. Really good. Really, really nice stuff. The cans feel a little strange, like this one. Maybe the saturation of the albedo is a little. 
It might be because the metalness, it's it's masked as metal, right? So it might be that might be the reason. Hmm. If that's the case, maybe make your albedo lighter, just to try and offset the. Don't eat the trash can. <laughs> don't do it. It's not physically possible. I know you want to, Din, but don't do it. Uh, this wall looks pretty pretty interesting. I like the so the wood paneling on the bottom is nice, and the the wear on the top is of the wood paneling is pretty good. Uh, the way the paint is chipping away, I would not try and do that in a, um, it looks like you might be doing that in a substance paint pass or something like that. Or like, hmm, I would try and do this with a mask that blends between two materials. Uh, that way you can get the resolution and then try not to do, uh, blah, try not to do a normal map on it for the, where it's breaking apart. Just do like a, so you've got a mask breaking these all apart. And then let's, let's grab a few more. So if it's supposed to be chip, chipping away paint and stuff like that, try and stay away from the smaller details to sell it. And instead create like a, uh, a mesh. Let's say this is like the space that the mesh takes up. That's just little pieces of uh, wallpaper that are peeling, like actually modeled out. Like, w let's take one of these. It would be like a card that's cut like this and then a threshold cutout that chips away the edge of it. And then you place this, uh, this card thing here, place that around. And then you just imagine from the side, you're going to see like the paint literally coming off of the wall. It's, and then these would actually react to shadows too. I think you'll get a, a much better uh, look from that. Uh, we got five more and I have to go. So let's, let's blast through these. So this is looking pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't make your water clear just because the style of this doesn't really suit the water being clear. I would just like, Solid that up and yeah, man, this is looking cool. It's looking good. Uh, the Ubisoft stream is streaming South Park. Cool. Go check that out after this. Um, this looks pretty, pretty dope. Oh man. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, looks like you're on the right track. These uh, side panel things here look like they're more of like collapsible metal let me do this so if you look at these this is probably like a uh like a shutter so this can go all the way down but they've they've rolled it up so it's like collapsing on itself so it's doing that and then it when it relaxes all the way down it closes up you can see it here it's kind of wobbly. And then these pieces look like they're more like this, not, uh, I think you have a model like that. Overall, it's looking pretty good. Um, look at how many, how far the stairs come out from the side of this. So they come out to here and the side of the thing is here. And then if you look on yours, it's coming out pretty far. Like it actually needs to stop probably right around here. Oh, this is cool. A lot of detail will go into this part here. Okay. Very nice, very nice. And then this guy, we've actually looked at this before. This is pretty good. By pretty good, I mean, uh, it's a full scene. It's telling stories. I like it. Uh, I don't have much to say on it other than maybe the saturation might be a little, eh, saturation might be okay. Roughness and all those details look really good. The skull feels strange and that girl's skirt is up guys. Um, yeah, I think these are cool too. They got like the hanging. I feel like there should be more of these reels and stuff kind of like scattered around the table. 
But other than that, I mean, I want to see what your next scene is. Nice touch here with this too. Anyways, okay, that is it for me. I'm going to take this and I'm going to share this page with you guys in chat and then I'll drop it in the stream critiques as well. There you go. There it is. Um, there should be a way to view it. Where are we at here? So if we're looking at this view, you can do a replay and you can actually watch the timeline of me drawing. Do you see that? So it'll be everything on the page. So if I go back here, I can just do this too. Pretty cool, right? All right, guys. Going to get out of here. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for chilling. Uh, have a good weekend. I forget today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Enjoy the time off. And yeah, thanks for chilling. Also, new people, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the new subs. Joseph, always with those awesome hearts. Cheers, man. Never going to be MLG. Dude, you're going to be MLG one day. One day. All right. Later.